What happened to Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh during the confirmation hearings back in October of 2018 happens to men and fathers in divorce court every day. Whatever your politics, it's clear that he was brutally treated. His enemies did their best to deny him due process and convict him on the accusations alone. What the nation saw as a political circus is just another typical day in divorce court. If you're a man in the midst of a divorce and you're accused of threatening your wife or you're a father accused of threatening your child, don't expect to receive due process in family court. If you're a man or a father in family court, an accusation is often the same as a conviction. Women can obtain an order for protection simply by requesting one. These orders are almost never denied. Women requesting these orders require no evidence whatsoever. In fact, she doesn't even have to accuse you of a crime. She can simply say that she doesn't feel safe with you around. Once a protection order has been issued, you will be immediately and forcibly evicted from your home by the police and subject to arrest if you try to contact your children. As a man accused of abuse, you have no rights. You are guilty as charged. Innocent until proven guilty doesn't apply in your case. Many of my clients going through a divorce had no idea anything was wrong until the police rang their doorbell and served them with a protection order demanding that they vacate their home immediately. These men are out on the streets in shock with nothing but the clothes on their back. Now, why do women going through a divorce make such accusations? Because it works. It's a great way for women to gain the advantage in a divorce. Want him out of the house tomorrow? No problem. Just accuse him of making a threat. You don't even have to say he hit you. Just say you don't feel safe. That's all it takes. Are you a mother involved in a custody battle? No problem. Just accuse the father of making threats to harm the children. Getting a protection order against the father of your children is easier than buying a pack of cigarettes in most places. Having the police remove your husband from the home and slapping him with a court order that prevents him from having any contact with the children gives you, the mother, a huge advantage. You get sole custody instantly because dad has been taken out of the picture. Why bother going through all the hassle, time, and expense of a custody battle when you can get full custody tomorrow just by filling out a short form at the police station. Now eventually you'll end up in court, but that can take six weeks or more. By then the kids are used to having mom having full custody, so the judge is likely to leave well enough alone. Making false accusations against the father is by far the quickest way for the mother to obtain custody. It couldn't be any easier, and it's virtually guaranteed to work. Women have been employing this scheme for decades because it has a long history of proven success. As a woman, you'll never have to provide evidence or prove your accusation. As a woman, there is absolutely no risk for you making a false accusation against your husband. Nothing will ever happen to you. The absolute worst that can happen is the judge will dismiss the charges during the hearing, but that hearing probably won't happen for months. So in the meantime, you get exclusive use of the house, full custody of the kids, and maximum child support. Once your husband has been out of the house for several months, the judge isn't likely to let him move back in. So even though the charges will be dismissed, the damage has been done and the results are often permanent. If your goal as a mother is full custody, making false accusations against the father is a winning strategy that works every time. Now, in all sincerity, there are many legitimate cases where women are threatened by their husbands. In those cases, women should absolutely request protection orders without hesitation. Everybody supports that. What I'm talking about is the large number of women that abuse the system during a divorce. Men, especially fathers, need to understand that if you're 
accused of being a threat to your wife or your children, the presumption of innocence doesn't exist in family court. The system will shoot first and ask questions months later. Women need to understand that while using this simple and effective strategy during a divorce can be very tempting, it will often poison the well forever, making co-parenting with your husband in the future all but impossible. Unfortunately, the system is unlikely to change. Women who are legitimately in dangerous situations need immediate protection. Nobody argues that. Is the system broken? No. Is the system corrupt? No. Unfortunately, there is no way for the system to quickly differentiate between legitimate abusers and innocent men that are falsely accused by spiteful women looking to gain the system during her divorce. In order to protect the women that sincerely need protection, the system is designed to take immediate action and investigate later as time permits. If the system didn't take swift action, women and children would die. What type of system would you want in place to protect your daughter or sister? Put yourself in the judge's position. How do you simultaneously protect innocent women in danger and prevent men from being falsely accused? Show me a system that can do both. As long as this is the case, innocent men and fathers will continue to be victims of false accusations made by women that exploit the system to their advantage. At this time, there is no way to prevent it. Men going through a bitter divorce need to be aware of this fact and plan accordingly. Now, feel free to leave your comments below. And to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. So if you're a man in this situation, or you think you could be, what should you do? To learn how I can help you, please visit my website at greatdivorceadvisors.com or use the link below.